Hey guys, it's Kai. From bullet ants to mosquitoes, here are eight of the most deadly insects in the world. Those deeply afraid of creepy crawlies, beware. Number eight, the bullet ant. First, off to the South American rainforest, where we encounter the small but powerful bullet ant. Only a little over an inch in length, these creatures make a name for themselves as the most painful sting of all insects. In fact, they get their names as the sting is reputed to feel similar to getting shot. Qualified as the most painful by Jason Schmidt, an entomologist or scientist specializing in insects, when he allowed himself to get stung by many kinds of insects in order to rank their sting. I don't know about that. Described as an intense and burning pain, the effects can still be felt eight hours after the attack and is greatly feared across the rainforest by people and animals alike. However, one rather interesting tribe uses the great pain of these ants in their initiation rituals. Young boys wishing to be seen as men by the tribe must endure placing their hand in a glove with these ants woven inside. Though they are sedated during the weaving of the glove, they are awakened when the boy puts his hand inside what must be an excruciating experience for at least 10 minutes. If that wasn't enough, the boy must go through 20 of these rituals. Though truly fearsome, the bullet ant will rarely attack unless directly provoked. Number seven, Japanese giant hornets. The highly aggressive and territorial Japanese giant hornets muscle their way onto our list due to a painful sting and fearsome nature. A subspecies of these giant Asian hornets, these monsters are much larger than normal hornets and are known to hunt and consume 50 unfortunate honeybees a day. The creatures which are rapidly becoming a pest have now made nests in France and England and due to poor shipping practices are spreading across the globe. Their venom is known to destroy red blood cells and those with allergic reactions are especially at risk for death with the Japanese Asian hornets killing dozens every year and sending hundreds to the hospital. They are attracted to sweat and when prey runs and can descend on swarm. Some victims have required hundreds of stitches and numerous dialysis treatments and are still left with deep scars. These hornets have led to government initiatives to destroy the nest and as the population seems to be growing, maybe they've got the right idea. Number six, fleas. The hidden villain of the famous Black Death that ravaged Europe during the Middle Ages, the flea feeds on blood and can spread diseases to other animals. Capable of leaping 150 times their own height, they can move from animal to animal and consume 15 times their own blood weight every single day. The bubonic plague was spread by fleas carrying the disease on board infected rats Though some might say that it was not the fleas, but the infectious bacteria they carried which made it difficult for the creatures to feed. Therefore, they would regurgitate infectious materials on the host. In fact, this disease still survives in many infested parts of the world, though it is much more easily treated today. Though the Black Plague changed the entire face of medieval history, modern fleas can still infect humans with the diseases such as typhus and are still common among the quickly breeding rat populations. Flea bites can cause disastrous allergic reactions on both pets and humans alike due to the saliva that they leave behind after the attack itself. Though in most cases, the only real stress is avoiding the very itchy swollen bite marks and dealing with the infection quickly as fleas can lay over 50 eggs in a single day. Number five, the bot fly. The bot fly, though rarely fatal, makes this list for the parasitic horror show it unleashes on its mammal victims. Last chance to preserve the innocence of your dreams as the human hunting botfly allows its eggs to grow in the human skin which burrow deep and eventually develop into larvae which can be felt under the skin. They do this by catching a mosquito as a host and then implanting it with the botfly eggs which when they go to feed on a mammal, in many cases humans, the eggs fall into the open wound. This insect horror show can cause the victim to feel larvae within the skin, squirming when their airway is blocked. Thankfully, this species have the decency to not have too large populations and live in many parts of Central and South America. They are usually treated with petroleum jelly over the wound, which suffocates the invaders so that they can be removed with tweezers. Only one type of botfly routinely targets humans, but others can as well, though they usually target the intestines, such as the one that specializes in horses. Some other animals can become easily infected by bacteria or other conditions and die soon after. Number four, killer bees. Widely known and feared, the Africanized honeybee or the killer bee 
has certainly earned its fearsome reputation. Though their sting is just as deadly as an average honeybee, unlike the honeybee, they are supremely aggressive, sending many from the colony to repeatedly sting any perceived threats. In fact, they are so relentless, they will sometimes completely abandon the hive as the entire colony pursues an enemy, leaving the nest completely unprotected. Deaths from bee swarms are disturbingly more common in this species of bee. They actually came to be created when, in the 1950s, the African honeybee was crossbred with the European honeybee and accidentally released into the wild. They have since been bred with many other colonies of bees and are beginning to spread across North America as their African honeybee DNA allows them to quickly build hives and grow their population. Unfortunately, they have also inherited the aggressive nature as well. Though as the bee species continue to be in a decline, more bees are good news for the flowers of the area. Number three, kissing bugs. Not nearly as innocent as they sound, the kissing bug is made incredibly deadly by its tendency to spread the terrible Chagas disease to the human populations. Infected with the parasite that causes the disease, they feed on blood during the night during which they transfer the parasites to humans. They get their name from their tendency to bite humans in their blood vessel rich areas of the eyes or lips. Though this typically isn't the kind of makeout people are looking for. <laughs> A little larger than the size of a penny, they are mostly found in warm climates such as the southern U.S. The Chagas disease that they spread has two distinct stages. The first, in which common symptoms such as muscle aches, rash, vomiting, and other such symptoms may or may not manifest. The second is the chronic stage, which affects 30% of the infected and can cause enlarged heart and heart rate conditions. Good news is that this stage can take years to develop, sometimes close to 20. So. If you can make it, you're laughing as you've outlived your attacker by at least 20 times as they tend to only have one year life cycle. If you suspect you've been affected, there are support centers to which you can send the bug, if you can find them, to ensure proper treatment. Number two, locusts. The name locust summons images of swarms of flying insects that raise everything in sight until nothing is left. This plague, however, is all too real. They are very similar in ways to grasshoppers, though their tendency to gather in large groups is what truly makes them a menace. The main damage isn't directly to humans ourselves, but a huge swarm can descend on a farm and devour everything in sight. Crops, grass, and even clothes can disappear forever into a giant cloud and lead to mass starvation for the communities affected. These clouds can stretch hundreds of miles and consume millions of pounds of plants every day in a vicious feeding frenzy made up of billions of locusts. Their telltale buzzing sound is the fear of farmers all over the world, yet many quickly scramble to construct large fires as the smoke can debilitate a swarm. Interestingly, the locusts are a delicacy in some parts of the world, and their bodies can help make up for the lost food that they consumed. Considered a natural plague by some, the desert variety is especially known for destroying little crops that can be grown and are known to move large distances in search for food. In fact, one particular swarm was noted for traveling all the way from Northern Africa to the island of Great Britain. Number one, mosquito. The bane of fishing and camping trips alike, this seemingly minor annoyance is in fact not only the most deadly insect, but one of the most deadly creatures on the entire planet. They accomplish this by spreading diseases such as Zika, West Nile, and malaria, where they can cripple a human population especially in areas where medical treatment is unavailable. Interestingly, mosquitoes feed mostly on plant nectars, but the females use blood to help their eggs grow and can consume up to three times their own weight in blood to nourish them. Though this blood is easily replenished in most working bodies, the diseases that the mosquitoes can spread are numerous and deadly. They are attracted to and lay their eggs where there is still water, such as flooded sinks or buckets, and can locate human targets by sensing the carbon dioxide we exhale. They can even sense our body heat and to know exactly where to draw the blood. At around 210 million years old as a species, they have been feeding on dino DNA long before humans ever entered the scene. In fact, Alexander the Great was believed to have died of malaria, which is famously spread by mosquitoes and kills more than a million people a year. As it turns out, dragonflies may be our best friends as they hunt hundreds of the mosquitoes per hunt and some places even release them into the wild as a natural mosquito control. Thanks for watching. What insect are you most afraid of? Be sure to subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.